beings, and welcome to episode 20 of Olive's Organic Living. I'm Olive, and today we're talking about getting fit. It's organic. organic. Yes, happy new year, you guys. I know I'm like 20 days late to the party. Oh my gosh, though, like that means I'm recording on the 20th, and that also means like it's the 20th episode in 2020, and like the first 20th of the year in like the first month, which means this is gonna be the first best episode like ever, like all year. Wow, oh my gosh. That was a lot to handle. Yeah, I know, I'm a little late to the party. Like, I mean, I'm usually early to the party because like, I just like to be on time. I just feel like it's polite. And then, I mean, usually they ask me to leave and I don't come back until really late. And then like, by then the party's over. But still, I like to be polite. Wait, what was I saying? New year, new me, same problem. Since it's the new year, I've decided to take on a challenge because as we all know, this is the only time of year to change. Yeah, most people give up and like fail and stuff, but not me. I don't give up, ever. I'm relentless. Yeah, I wanted to start this year off with a video about getting fit, cause like, I have a bunch of fitness goals, you guys. I really wanna be able to do a headstand, cause like, I think that'd be really cool to stand on my head. I mean, like, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do it without like, using your arms, but I'm gonna figure it out, you guys. My other goal is to get better at juggling and to bench press 300 pounds. I wanna bench press 300 pounds. I wanna get jacked. I wanna get buff. I want to get ripped. I want to be a beefcake. You guys, I'm, I'm a weakling. Do you see this? This is, this is going to get me beat up. I live in LA now. The girls around here, they don't mess around. I got to make sure like I'm going to be able to hold my own in case I get jumped. Like I feel like I'm living in Chicago again. I want to get jacked, but I like don't want to roid rage. And I heard like chocolate milk's like really, really good like for building muscle and stuff because it's got protein so I got some track of milk here. Gym memberships are too expensive so I'm gonna like figure out like what I can do at home and so we're gonna talk about a few different types of like ways to like get fit and stuff in like the exercise department. Um, but yeah, this is chocolate milk. Ophelia gave me this mug. I figure like since we're gonna like workouts and stuff today that I should like, that I should like just chug it. So, to your health. great all right whoa oh wow um that was a little difficult to chug do you know i saw this video a really long time ago where this dude tried to jug like a whole gallon of milk and it didn't go so well i think i kind of get like what he might have been feeling Woo! Okay, yeah, I just had all that chocolate milk. I feel so good, you guys. Yeah, I love chocolate milk. It's the best. Yeah, my dad still can't forgive me, like, for not being able to be vegan because I love, like, like milk and dairy and stuff. Yeah, he still can't forgive me. We haven't talked in, like, 10 years, but still. Anyway, I love chocolate milk. It's really, really good, and it's got all the protein in it, so definitely drink it, like, before, after, and during a workout. I don't necessarily recommend chugging it, though. There's all sorts of ways to get fit, you guys. There's stuff like weightlifting, because, like, you know, you pick up like really heavy stuff and put it down and like do that over and over again. Yeah, that eventually builds up muscle. And then there's like CrossFit, which is basically weightlifting, but like you throw it and you like run and like jump and stuff. And it looks, yeah, it looks really hard. And then there's yoga, which is really, really, really fun and just like mellow and chill, except for like the hot yoga. Like, I don't know, I just like, I kind of just look like a lobster afterwards and I get all sweaty, but like, it's kind of like gross too because you're with a bunch of other girls and they're all really sweaty too and like you're all really sweaty and it's just way too moist in there you guys. I can't, I, I, 
I don't want to go back. And then there's like the fighting exercises, like like boxing and MMA and like karate and like tai chi and all that, like all that. I mean, they're all pretty much the same thing. Just like sports in general is a good way to get fit. Like I don't really do sports because just like like balls are attracted to my head, you guys. So just like every time I was in gym class, it's just like. If we were playing a game where there was a ball, like, the ball would just be, like, magnetically attracted to my head. Just wham! Balls in the face all the time. There was one time where I got hit with, like, three balls at once. Like, it got me, like, head and the back of the head and then also my back. That was not fun. That was a lot of balls to deal with. I'm really lazy and so, like, I'm gonna figure out, like, what I can do here at home and, like, what I've got. So I can't afford a waist trainer, so, like, I'm gonna use this ace bandage and see if it's, like, gonna do the same thing because it's pretty much like a waist trainer like you just put it around your waist and like make it really tight and then just wear it for a while it makes your waist even smaller yeah I think that'll help me with my bench pressing okay you guys so I put on the the my ace trainer wait is that a is that a brand I really feel the chocolate milk now um I, uh, I'm having a hard time. I feel a little bit, uh, a little bit lightheaded, so I think I need to, I think I need to stop this soon and take this off. This, um, this might have been a really bad idea. Um, whoo! Okay, okay, yeah, I know. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get this right off. I can breathe again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah. It was, it was okay. I'm never doing that again. So I'm gonna try to do some like weight training and weightlifting at home because I do have like a couple of weights. My roomie said I could use like some of her weights, so I'm gonna try to do some like weight training and weightlifting at home. Wait, okay, wait, I gotta get the weight. Okay, wait, okay, wait. I got one down here and I'm gonna show you guys it. Oh, it's really heavy though. I had my roommate move it. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Wait, wait a second. Okay, wait, I got this. I got this. Wait, this is good. This is good exercise. Ah. Yeah, this weight. It's really heavy, but I'm gonna try to work out with it. Ah. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. Wow. I'm really I'm really getting a workout making this video. I got some smaller ones too though. These are kinda heavy, but I'm gonna like do some do some weight lifting and like weight punching and stuff yeah I don't really know like exactly like what form I should do but like you know it's probably like yoga I could probably just like feel it out you know just like just sort of like throw my arms in random places and just see where the where the weight goes ha <laughs> ha just throw my weight around <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna start weight lifting and stuff you guys because I really want to bench press 300 pounds but I expect to see you guys in the comments and on Twitter and all those good social media sites. Well, only Twitter because that's the only one I have. I'm going to end the video by doing a classic yoga pose shown to me by my spiritual advisor, Hemlock Moonwolf. Yeah, he showed this to me a while back when I was getting my chakras cleanse. I mean, it was only six out of seven, but still. He showed me this pose. It's called the T-pose, but yeah, um, I, don't, I don't really have enough room to do it. I think it helps you spill tea. Wait, or make tea? I don't know. But anyway, it starts with the letter T because it's called the T pose. Um, maybe it makes you like Mr. T. You guys can follow me, Ophelia, and my roommate on Twitter and support us on Patreon. If you support us on Patreon, you'll end up in the Patreon song, which I'm going to sing right now. This is my Patreon supporter song.